Silver is one of the most critical elements on planet Earth, and it is cheap right now. So will silver outperform gold in 2020? This is the question that many investors are asking. 2019 was a year of rebound for silver prices, which recovered the losses of 2018, closing the year up by about 7%. The white metal hit a three-year high at $19.57 and then settled in the range of $16.50 to $17. 2019 was an eventful year for silver. Silver is just stupid cheap right now. If you don't own it, you don't get it. And that's an understatement. Back in 1980, silver was worth 33% of the SPX. Today it is worth 0.0058% of the SPX. Less than 6 tenths of 1%. In other words, when priced relative to the SPX, as of today, silver is down over 98% from what it was worth back in 1980. It's the only commodity on earth that is still cheaper than it was 39 years ago. Silver does have more upside potential than gold buy now whilst still on sale. Welcome to the Atlantis Report. The ongoing geopolitical conflict between China and the United States, the turmoil between the United States and Mexico, and tensions in the Middle East have contributed to silver growth over the course of this year. Unfortunately, the gains were lower than those of gold. In addition, in 2019, the Fed cut interest rates three times, giving the precious metals a great advantage. In this context, silver prices touched the minimum of the year on May 17, $14.38, and the maximum at the beginning of September, $19.57. In addition, the gold-silver ratio has widened further, reaching a level that has not been seen for 20 years. This ratio has reached 90%, a frustration for those who have already invested but a real deal for those who have yet to buy. People don't buy when prices are low. But as some analysts think, purchases will increase when silver prices exceed $20. Although pricing in fiat is always going to be subjective, it is always good to look at the real value for metals in what they can purchase. For example, to exercise your mind, how many trillion Zimbabwe dollars was an ounce of silver? So when the Fed and the ECB are done with this fiasco, an ounce of gold might be worth a billion dollars, but its purchasing power might be unchanged, assuming a functional economy. Wealth storage is not a get-rich scheme, it's a stay-rich plan. So what is the supply and demand of silver in 2020? Production factors remain a key factor in the silver sector, and, as also in the case of gold, mineral deposits are becoming increasingly difficult to exploit, which could lead to a decline in production in the future. In recent years, metal production and mining quality, less silver in the extracted ore, have decreased. A progressive reduction in production will be further aggravated by growing demand in the industrial, currency, and jewelry sectors. Analysts believe that industrial manufacturing will grow in the automotive and photovoltaic sectors, two very important sectors for silver. In addition, a 3% increase in demand from the jewelry sector, and a 4% increase in the silverware sector are expected. What will prices be like in 2020? In the coming year, the Silver Institute predicts that geopolitical issues will benefit silver, while the gap between gold and silver is expected to narrow. For CPM Group, in 2020, there will be a slight decrease in mining production and a 9% increase in silver prices. But there are also those who expect to see the $22, again that represents about 30% compared to 2019. The widespread political uncertainties around the world will play in favor of these expectations. In the long run, solar and electric vehicles will drag silver, with demand expected to triple in the next five years. I do believe when this recession hits, we're going to see a cutback in global base metal mining, and almost 60% of base metal mining, which is a copper zinc and lead, is a byproduct of silver as a 60 plus percent of silver production comes from base metal mining. So when that starts to decline, we're going to see much less silver production compared to gold, so that to me is going to be very bullish for silver in the future. I do believe moving forward when we start seeing more chaos in the markets, retail demand for gold and silver eagles will start going back up and actually surpass this now. I believe this could be one of the most bullish signs factors for silver going forward. And according to the World Gold Council and World Silver Surveys that there are about 2.4 billion ounces of gold held in physical investment public and private as well as central bank holdings. There are 2.45 billion ounces of silver. So we can see there's not that much more. 
Now yes, we don't know how much silver eagles are held or how much silver is held in private hands and safes at homes. We have no idea. The same thing with gold. But there are identifiable gold and silver stocks in the world, and right now, there is about the same amount of silver as there is gold. Here's the interesting thing. All that gold value is 3.65 trillion compared to 45 billion for the silver. So even though there could be a lot more silver in the world jewelry silver or silver bars and coins that are held privately, we don't know about it. Let's move it up to 5 billion. That just doubles it to 100 billion. Maybe and if we even go to 10 billion ounces, which I don't think there's that much investment silver out there. Even with that, there are only 200 billion dollars. It is still a fraction compared to gold. So when investors start trying to access physical silver, there just is not that much silver as there is gold. Official sources estimate there are about 2.4 billion ounces of gold and 2.45 billion ounces of silver held in public and private vaults, including central bank holdings. Yes, there is likely a great deal of physical gold and silver held by investors at home or in secret vaults that are not included in those figures. But these amounts still wouldn't change the values of these metals all that much. JP Morgan has 152 million ounces of physical silver to date. There are 400 million shares of silver traded. Who is holding this much actual physical silver to accommodate all paper silver ETFs transactions? Or better yet, what's the actual ratio, it must be hundreds upon hundreds of ETF shares to one physical ounce of real 0.999 silver. This sounds just like our US dollar printed out of thin air with nothing backing it up. Paper silver ETF is a scam. Buy only real physical silver. Remember, if you don't hold it, you don't own it, period. Silver is the undervalued play. It's going up exponentially soon, in my opinion. Gold will also hold its own and is half of the base of my stack. Here are the 8 facts about silver that you need to remember. Number 1. Silver has been suppressed for years by JP Morgan and the government. Number 2. Silver to gold recent natural ratio was 15 to 1 when this paper value system was created. Number 3. Egyptians valued silver more than gold during the Egyptian times. Number 4. Biblical teachings show silver to gold as a 1 to 1 ratio. Number 5, 1 tenth ounce of silver has historically been worth one full day's worth of work for an average man. That would put silver at $2,775 per ounce today. Number 6. There is vastly more gold above ground than silver above ground. Number 7. The mining ratio is 9 to 1, all the easy silver has been mined already. Number 8. If we eliminate the copper, zinc miners, the mining ratio is closer to 5 to 1. And here are the three reasons why silver one day will go to $50 at least. Number 1. In 1980, the Hunt Bros trying to corner the market, they were fools because they dabbled in the futures, they should have gone all into physical. Today, how many Hunt Bros to do you think are there? I would say 10 times as much and 10 times more worth, and who is to say that they won't try to corner the market? Number 2. In 1980, silver uses are in photography and investment. Governments have a lot of reserves, lots of circulating coins. Today silver has so many uses in booming electronics, so much that it takes 60% of silver's production. All the circulating coins are in the strong hands, doom and gloom guy, and the governments barely own any. With this in mind, the industrial behemoth is going out there to buy these silver. Apple alone has $100 billion in cash, and how much cash other companies have do you think? Remember, in the year 2000, Ford declares $1 billion loss in palladium because they tried to acquire it at its height due to fear of supply crunch, and palladium is only used in cars, and there is a replacement, which is platinum. Silver has no replacement. Number 3. If every American rushed into silver, being a small market, silver will explode. However, in 1980, 10% of the world's population, Europeans, and Americans participated in almost 100% of silver's market. Today, the whole world will participate, you can only imagine. Having understood this, silver is more than 10 baggers. Even if that means waiting for 10 years for the upside to happens, I am all in. And always remember to sell when gold-silver ratio hits 30 and switch to other assets. Silver is the best conductor, period. 
The silver battery is more reliable than any other type of battery. I have no doubt Tomahawk uses a silver battery for the guidance system. The military uses a tremendous amount of silver. It is widely speculated that every single Tomahawk missile contains 480 ounces of silver. That's almost a whole monster box of silver eagles per missile. Even if it's only 100 ounces, that's a lot of silver. Also, that's just one military application. Think of all the electronics they use as well. Silver prices are artificially suppressed. However, that will soon change. Resistance at 18.5 to 21.5. But that is something I would expect under normal market conditions, and we are currently entering abnormal market conditions. There is a real danger of a stock market collapse in the near future, and a global bid for safe haven assets, outside of the banking system. As an undervalued asset, with a tiny, and shrinking, supply, silver could see such inflows that would absolutely overwhelm any kind of resistance we have seen in the past. Think Bitcoin type of price action. This was the Atlantis Report. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.